guys, so for this week's video, I will just be doing a how to use a vintage Polaroid. And I'm going to be giving away a vintage Polaroid and an Instax Mini for Christmas, as well as a Visa gift card, so there's going to be three winners, and maybe some makeup, so I just don't know which one. Probably some elf, but um, yeah, this is the official. I'm announcing exactly what I'm going to be giving away. It's going to be a Christmas giveaway, so subscribe for those. This is my Polaroid. I have a... Polaroid 600 and it uses 600 film. If you don't know, it's usually going to be right over here or on the inside, I believe. Now, to open it, I just hold this button down. There's a button right here. Hold it down. You're going to lift up. And it pops up. Okay, so let me zoom. Okay, so this is the Polaroid. Um, right here, you can see this is like where the view thing is where it pops out I don't want to touch it and then this is the viewfinder right here so you put your like you look through here as you can see and then it comes out that way I mean so this is where the thing is obviously and this is where the viewfinder is so it's not going to be completely centered so you're always going to want to tilt the camera a little bit towards that way you have the white middle and then black when you choose black as you can see right there, the image, the contrast is going to be a lot heavier, like this, which is a lot of contrast. And you really can't see the face or anything. This is a picture of my sister, um, which is why I learned not to use black. When you first, if you've never had a vintage Polaroid, like this is my first ever vintage Polaroid, if you've never had one before, you are going to be really, I guess you could say, kind of lost when it comes to using it. I'm going to say the first one that you use it's probably just going to be you experimenting with other stuff and blah 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 blah. It's not going to be like the best photos unless you've had a vintage Polaroid before. Polaroid film, the only people that make Polaroid film anymore is the Impossible Project and the film is like $35, almost $40 I believe. I got this from Amazon and I got this from Amazon for like the Polaroid for, from Amazon for $22, $27 I believe. And I used Bing Rewards to cut down the cost on the Polaroid. And I only really paid like 10 bucks, really. And I bought the color film, but I learned that I don't really like color film, so I'm just gonna go and stick with the black and white film because it doesn't, the color really doesn't show up all that much. Because the um, film is so expensive, like it's almost three dollars for one, a little over three dollars for one picture, um, you're gonna learn how to use photos and take photos sparingly. You have more value. No one else will have this one specific photo of yours. Yeah, it might be hard to share the photo, but I mean, you'll always have it. It's one. So you have this four feet and then you have the two feet. This is like if you're going up close to like, if I was this close to my camera, I would use the two feet because I'm between two feet of my camera. If I was taking a picture of a tree that was maybe six, eight feet away from me, I would use this instead of the two feet, okay? If that makes any sense. So just kind of eyeball how far away it is from you. And then, yeah. When you move it, if you can't see, there's a lens that covers it. It's just like a zoom, basically. And then I just move it back and it goes away. Now, to open it to insert the Impossible Project film, you just want to push this um, forward. Push it forward to open it. And it will just pop right out. And if you don't know what type of film you use, it's going to be right here. And it says 600 film. And that's the film that I use. Now, I don't have any more film, but I do have an empty cartridge cartilage and um that's how i basically do the photos and stuff um this is to test you always have an empty cartridge on hand if you're buying a used polaroid like this because it um will test if it works a lot of people sell broken polaroids people buy polaroids just for the looks of it which i don't really see the point in them um i suggest going to amazon or maybe um like the thrift store to find a polaroid or anything like that because it's cheaper at secondhand stores i mean Urban Outfitters sells it with the film for almost like $150 from what a lot of people say, which I would not buy this for $150, okay? That is absurd. Go to Amazon, you can get it for $20, $30. They have so many different types of Polaroids. Also, um, if you can find expired film for Polaroids like this, or just Polaroids in general, please link it down below. It's really great to test out um, your photos and practice taking photos with your Polaroid with expired film. Start the Polaroid film just forward the thing will pop down. This is my empty Polaroid film that I just finished. My sister 
took the last two photos without my permission and basically she stole it, which really pisses me off. But this is what I have. Now to insert it, it's gonna, usually when you get a new Polaroid film, it's gonna say this side up. And it'll have words to where it's gonna be inserted. But if it has something like this at the back, more than likely it's gonna go in towards the down. This is gonna be up, but you're not gonna see this. It's gonna say some really cool Impossible Project um, quote. And that's how I just did it. Inserting it like this, it's gonna have a frog as well battery so whenever you're using a Polaroid and this is inside and you have leftover film always be sure to keep this closed because it will burn down the battery and if you the battery runs out before the photos do they'll be able to take any photos and I'm just going to be inserting it like that you gotta gotta push it in and close it you can you might you might be able to hear it power up and this is it has some battery life left in the camera which is how it works push obviously push this down then to take it out it might seem a little confusing but it's not just kind of get a grip right there of that it so pull it out by this little tray right here you can see and it comes out just like that and then I close it now I'm just gonna tell you about how to take a photo whenever you're ready to take a photo you're gonna look through the viewfinder which is right here you're gonna look through it Press this button right here, the one that's the same button that you use to open the camera, and then press it all the way down, and the film will come out. And then immediately, as soon as it comes out, put it somewhere dark so this way light that when it first touches the image, it will destroy it. So you want to basically put it away in the darkness. Always wearing to the back right there, if you can see that room right there. That's my closet. I would put it in there, let it um develop for like 30 45 minutes it doesn't really take that long but if you don't want the flash to ruin the image you're gonna press it halfway right here halfway and the image will still come out the um, thing I just take four fingers and I glide it down and it closes I don't want to smack it down because I don't want to break my Polaroid that's basically how you use a vintage Polaroid so these are some of the Polaroid photos that I've taken um, for like a while since I've gotten my Polaroid, which woo, I got the Polaroid in July. No, it was June. The first image that I took, this is a picture of my sister. Um, I took this. This is the very first photo that I took the same day that I got it in the mail. I was so excited. And I put in the film and I used it. And I took a beautiful photo and I was so happy. And that's just my sister's. And yeah, learn about this. But when you first get your Polaroid, do not, like, I mean, after you take your Polaroid, do not shake the Polaroid to make it develop faster. Because everyone says, shake a Polaroid to make it develop faster. It doesn't de develop faster, it just ruins the image. And if you watch my school supply haul, I was wearing this shirt. And yeah. So that my sister took. But, yeah. She ruined it and took it without my permission. And it's so expensive. And you only get eight, like, photos per an impossible project film. So only eight photos, which is a lot of money for only eight photos. But it's worth it because you're the only person who has these. And you might get a vintage color, but you don't have the money to constantly buy the film. Um, go get the Instax Mini. I mean, it's a little bit more pricey than how much I bought mine. It's like $50. But I mean, the film is a lot cheaper than this one. For the Impossible Project, um, or if you just want to buy a vintage Polaroid to show off, like to use it as room decor, because I know a lot of people say, give one away to use it as room decor, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just like, then you're not really using the Polaroid. Something that my sister took as well. This is of the lights back there. This isn't really bokeh. I don't really know how to do bokeh with Polaroids, but if you do, please link a video down below explaining or talk to me about it in the description box. Which is this one that I talked to you a little about how I used the black side of the vintage Polaroid and this is how the image came out. Extremely dark, you couldn't really see anything. Basically, if you weren't wearing a really vibrant white color or something like that, it would look like this. I have another photo, Always Kiss Me Good Night, which I'm pretty sure my eye took or maybe my sister did. But it's... A <laughs> People keep texting me. If you've ever seen my wall quotes in some of my other videos where I filmed that way, and you're right in front of a window, and my wall quote was that way, um, then you would know. Then you would have noticed to always kiss me good night. But that's basically what's on my wall quote. This is the image that I was talking about earlier, um, where I accidentally pressed the button when I was trying to open the Polaroid, and that's what happened. 
I filmed this video, how to like use your vintage Polaroid or whatever, numerous times before, guys, is um, the photo that I was taking when I first filmed the video, or second, maybe it was my second time filming the video, but this is a photo of basically my camera. I don't really like how it turned out, but yeah. Everything has a story. How a photo got on a wall, how a photo was taken, everything. Big or small, everything has a story. These are what the back of a Polaroid looks like, the Polaroid photos are. It's only eight photos, because I've only used one. It. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did not, I'm sorry, but if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for when I announce my giveaway, um, which is going to be in November. So, yeah. Summer giveaway is probably going to be the biggest giveaway I've ever had in my entire YouTube career, which only happens since June of 2015. So check out my collab channel, XOXO Fabs, and um, all the stuff and equipment that I use to film my videos are in the comment below. If you haven't seen my how to use a lim like unboxing my limo studio lights, which is what I use now to film, which is why my quality of video kind of looks better. Everything else can work. Seriously, a thing like in 2012 or something, or 2013. This is a serious thing. Say fierce. I just didn't understand that. Or this or that. I'm out. And that's why you say I have a chalk. I actually have a chalk. I'm just on YouTube. I work somewhere.